How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams from the Hard Gainer Academy. Over here we make gains in fitness and choose stocks to get your portfolio in shape. You also know I gotta throw the disclaimer out there. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. So just know when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. Today's Tuesday, so you know what time it is. It is the joke of the day. All right, so here it comes. What part of your body always loses? Defeat. Come on, come on. You guys gotta like that one. But anyways, we're gonna be talking about NNDM Nano Dimensions. I've mentioned it in my previous video. I had the opportunity to build out a solid position at six dollars and seventy-five cents. And some big news came out this morning that I want to share with you guys. If you haven't built out your position already, or you're thinking about building out your position, stay tuned to later on in the video, and I will give you something that I would do if I was in your position, all right? So let's talk about the news. So what came out? Nano Dimension engages in Carl Square for a European acquisition search. So who's Carl Square? So Carl Square is an investment bank with offices in Berlin, Copenhagen, Hamburg, London, Munich, and Stockholm. Carl Square supports companies and their shareholders to assist in implementing their merger and acquisition Goals. So how's the CEO feeling about this? Why is he making this decision? Let's go over it. All right. So the CEO, Mr. Joff Stern, <laughs> Mr. Johoff Stern, I hope I didn't butcher your name. So our merger and acquisition search over the last two quarters has evolved as we have expanded its geographical footprint. We are now focusing on two kinds of acquisition targets. One will dramatically expand our go-to-market channels and give us exposure to vertical markets, while the other targets include a set of companies that have transformative technologies and products that are complementary to our product roadmap. So here's the thing. NMDM is sitting on a lot of cash. If you've been around as long as I have been around, they have done numerous offerings. And every single time they've done an offering, the stock has gone up. So this is part of the reasons why you should be super excited about this if you're interested in this company, all right? So we left off at the roadmap, all right. So the present ambiguity of the special purpose public acquisition vehicles, especially in the US market, is causing price surges of certain targets. Hence, we are using the opportunity to filter out valuations that don't fit our business model. So they wanna make sure that, you know what, they don't get no outrageous type of valuations while working with the US company, just for the sense, because every time SPACs tend to come out, they get valued super high. There's a lot of speculation, a lot of news around them. They're just trying to go about this thing the right way that is sustainable and will help them long term. All right. So now, since we have strong cash reserves, we are accelerating our technology and product development forward beyond the plans of mid 2020. I am confident that with the help of our investment banking partners, we will expedite the merger and acquisition process to synergistically support our growth plans. I'm excited. I don't know, I don't know how you're feeling right now, but this is huge. We actually saw this in regards to the stock price and the price action that was going on. So she was literally low in that $13 range. And then literally in after hours, she's now at $15. It wasn't too long ago where she took a dip into that 12 range, recovered, got into 14, took a dip today, got into that 14 area, right? And then boom, straight up to 15s. So one of the things that I want to talk about is ARK Invest, right? One thing about ARK, a lot of people are bringing this to my attention as well. And I also get emails from them. They're like, so Dre, what do you think about ARK Invest, AKA Kathy Woods, who killed it in year 2020? Like, how do you feel about them selling shares? Like, does that mean that they don't believe in them anymore? Is there something we need to be worried about and stuff like that? You shouldn't be worried about anything. So like ARK Invest is just literally trying to balance their portfolios. They only can earn a certain, sorry, they only can earn, they only can have a certain percentage of that particular stock in their portfolio. So when the value's going up or when the price is going up, right? So the stock price itself, then you know, they gotta go back and rebalance because ARK got in at a very, very, 
very early stage. Like I'm pretty sure when Nano was like around the two to three dollar range, Arc was in there. It could even be even earlier than that. Just when I came across it, I saw it was around three dollars and I heard that Arc was in it. All right. So one of the things that you need to look at and realize is that hey, they gotta do this for the sake of their investors. They have rules that they gotta adhere to, all right? So that is no reason to be concerned or worried about it because still, ARK still has a big sizable position already inside of NMDM. I'll also be putting up a screenshot so you guys can see that for yourselves that they have sold some shares, but they're still holding a lot as well. So now, like I promised you guys in an early portion of this video, what do you do if you haven't built out a position or if you currently have a position already, but you want to build it out even further? So if you don't have a position, I would say it would be a good idea to wait until after February the 15th. Like I said in my previous video, they're going to be having a vote and that vote is going to be on an offering, right? So they want to double, right? So I think it's about one... $1.25 billion offering, right? So they want to pretty much expand some more shares and stuff like that. So when things like this happen, the stock price tends to go down. So if you haven't built out a position already, you could just say, well, you know what? I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to stay patient and see what happens after the 15th. Another thing that you can do as well, you could just add slowly currently when it hits, let's say the 13 range or possibly if it hits 12 before the 15th. Like I said, does it have the KLTs? If you know the company, so you did your due diligence, right? If you like the company because you like what they have going forward and you trust that they're going to bring the company in the right direction, which will actually be helpful for you in regards to being, bringing a big return on your portfolio, then consider it. So now, if you already have shares in NMDM and you have a really good cost average, so if you have a cost average like myself at $6.75, then yes, you can consider adding. But I wouldn't consider adding until that decision comes to an end after the 15th. Why? Because if the price goes down, then you can get those shares a lot cheaper, right? It makes more sense to do it that way. Is it possible that the stock could run up further before then? Of course it can. I can't promise that it won't. Can't promise that it will, right? These are one of these things we have no control over, but the stock price will be affected if that offering gets approved on the 15th. That's what I want you guys to realize and understand, all right? But again, if the stock already has those KLTs, then you know what? In most cases, value comes down to the individual. So you decide, hey, what do I feel like I wanna get in at? And what do I feel like, hey, you know what? I really like this company. I just wanna make sure I got some skin in the game. Again, that's going to come down to you, all right? Hope you found this video helpful, and I'll be talking to you guys tomorrow. Peace out.